It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a bottle of Brasserie Dubisson Bush de Nudes. There's a look at the bottle. 750 milliliter, 13% ABV. And this was hand, this was given to me when I was in Belgium last year. It comes with a nice booklet around the neck. Cork and cage. It was handed to me in Belgium at the brewery, Bush, uh, Brasserie de Nuts. They had some wonderful barrel aged beers there. Uh, we were drinking all sorts of their, their blondes, their dark ales, their, their, I'm sure we tried this. And uh, yeah, it was pretty, pretty damn good. Also had some St. Bernardus there. Uh, we had some other really good, I think we may have had West Fletcheran, one of their beers there maybe, but great time in Belgium. Age this for one year, or just under a year. Should we get it out into a glass, see what we get? They're part of the Belgium family brewers. I'm pretty sure. We'll get rid of that first. Hold on to this one. Get it out. Boom! Look at that. And I, I got a funny feeling this is gonna be a darker ale. Yeah, look at that. 13% ABV. So most of their beers, or I believe all of their beers are barrel aged in some lovely barrels. If you want to have a look, I put, put some footage on YouTube about eight months ago. Have a look through my YouTube channel at uh, some of the kind of Belgium. I might put a link in the description box to have a look, even if it's some photos, just to have a look at some of their barrels. But it's a really impressive setup at this brewery, Brasserie de Nuts. Uh, four finger, slightly off white head on the beer. Nice levels of carbonation. It's a chestnut colored ale. Let's get the aroma. Oh yeah. Lots of dark fruit, lots of jammy flavours. This berry. It's quite vinous. There's a, there's a nice red wine quality to the beer in the aroma. with a lovely kick of alcohol in the aroma there. You do get that 13% ABV. It's a little bit of red, I said red wine grape, a little bit of white wine grape as well in the aroma. It smells wonderful, let's dive in, cheers. Oh, wow. Green apple, green cooking apples. That sharpness of biting into a, a cooking apple is very, very present in the beer. A ripe, a really ripe fruit. This plum, fig, raisin. There is definitely a red wine character to the beer. It's nicely carbonated. Oh. And the mouthfeel. I want to talk to you about the mouthfeel. Should we get some more in first? A 13% ABV. It's still surprisingly drinkable. And I think that's where a lot of, say, tourists, when they visit Belgium, they get caught out. They go to a Belgium cafe bar, they have a beer or two, and they don't realize the ABV, the strength of these beers. And they're kind of drinking away, drinking along. 
until they get up off their chair to either order another beer, use the bathroom or leave. And when they do that, when they get up off their chair, heard plenty of stories about this. That's when they kind of kind of wobble around a bit and think, blimey, what was the strength of that? Then they go in their little book in the cafe bar and, and realize how much the ABV was on the beer because it drinks very well. Although this doesn't drink like a, a five or six percent ABV beer because it is 13 percent. It's certainly if this was handed to me in a bl blind taste test and you said it was about nine percent ABV, I would go with that. I certainly wouldn't think it was 13% ABV. You get a little bit of an alcohol warming in the throat, a little bit of an alcohol warming in the pit of the stomach, but that would be the only clue that it's kind of 10% plus. But it's a lovely, lovely beer. You do get a little bit of that oak from the barrel. Maybe a little bit of a, a cognac y flavour in there. But yes, a smashing, smashing beer. Bush Denutes, 13% ABV from Brasserie Dubisson. <coughs> lovely, lovely place. We had a meal there. I think we had like a, like, like, a, uh, like a steak stew, I believe we had there. It was really, really nice with their beer. Fantastic. I'm going to rate this. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. It's an 8 out of 10 from Reload Craft Beer. Put your comments in the comments box. Please subscribe to our daily beer reviews and cheers.